Hi, I'm Todd Ellenbecker. I'm the Vice President of Medical Services for the ATP. And today we're gonna to talk about warm up and recovery. Some very critical things for you as an elite level tennis player to always perform your best. We'll help you understand the best ways to get your mind and body ready to play again and again. A good warm up will prepare your mind and body for a match. It will focus on your mind, increase your blood flow, activate the muscles, and prepare your entire body for the challenges on court during a tennis match. You cannot go on court and uh, just play 100%, uh, it would be risky for your body. Research has shown that the best way to warm up is to gradually get your body moving. This is called a dynamic warm up. It includes movements that increase your heart rate, get the blood flowing, and literally warm up your muscles and the tissues in your body so that your body becomes more flexible. It should also be functional so that it activates the right muscles and helps you get your alignment and posture correct. A lot of players use medicine balls or bands to focus on specific areas, especially your core and those muscles which stabilize you. When you activate your muscles, you also fire up your nervous system. That will give you quicker reaction times and help you get to the ball faster in your match. Your warm-up should also be tennis specific incorporating movements that mimic on-court actions, including shadow strokes, serves, and footwork, and prepare your body for the coordination and movements of tennis. A good warm-up can be achieved through a variety of exercises and give you the chance to work out a routine that works best for you. We recommend that you work with your coach to create a routine that includes all the parts that we've talked about to get your body ready. Just gotta warm up everything so you can start faster as well with the tennis. Almost made it. It's almost gonna be easier to play tennis than these warm-ups these days. As well as warming up your body, it's also essential that you warm up your mind if you wanna actually play your best. The best way to do this is to have a pre-match routine that you do before every match. This can be called a readiness routine as it means you're getting ready to play. Your readiness routine should include the following. Recovery, that means making sure that you recovered well from your last match or practice. We'll talk about how to do that later in this video. Equipment, for example, preparing your bag the night before your match. Planning your schedule, make sure that you arrive early to the tournament site to give yourself time to do all the things you need to do before your match. Physical checks, if there is a physio available, Check on any current injuries that may require treatment or taping before your match. Viewing your match strategy and tactics, you can do this either with your coach or on your own. Mental, implement mental fitness exercises to focus your mind before your match. Eating and drinking, watch our nutrition and hydration video to make sure you are eating and drinking the right things. I packed my stuff uh, last night as I'm playing uh, this morning early. Rackets are, have just come um, from my stringer. I'm the first one to the car. That usually doesn't happen. 8.30. <laughs> 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 Good morning, guys. I'm gonna go head out to the gym, uh, warm up a little bit on the treadmill, on the bicycle. It's important that you don't depend on your coach or your parents to do these things for you. As you get older and develop, they won't always be able to travel to tournaments with you. So it's really important that you take these things on yourself and this becomes part of your routine, something specifically that you do. So we've talked about what you need to do to prepare before your match. Now let's talk about what you should do after a match to help you recover well. Just like you warmed up before the match, it's also important to warm down after it. Some players like a gentle jog. Others players like to stretch and do yoga. Some players get on a bike. You can decide what works best for you. I'm trying to stretch after every match and here's a bike. I'm not like big bike lover, but there's not much space to run because I prefer to run like maybe five, 10 minutes, like just cool down, then stretch and Go to the shower. In our nutrition and hydration video, we talked about how important it is to eat and drink after a match. Grab a recovery shake or light snack within 30 minutes and aim to eat a proper meal within two hours. You also need to drink water and sports drinks to restore the fluid and minerals that you have lost during your match. After a match, WGA and ATP players would usually take an ice bath to bring their core body temperature down and assist with muscle recovery. 
A recovery massage can also help recovery and help you relax. Let's listen to former WGA player Daniela Hantukova talking about why massages are an important part of recovery. It's really difficult to find a balance between not having too deep of a massage because you don't want to be sore for your next match and feel like your legs are heavy, but at the same time you want to get that lactic acid out of your system and just feel really light for your next match. Like this also you prevent a lot of injuries. If you don't have access to a massage therapist, it's a good idea to travel with something like a foam roller or mobility ball to massage your soft tissue and help your body to recover. As well as your physical recovery, you also need to think about your mental recovery. After the match, think about your tactics, the key points, and look at where you think you can improve. You can do this by yourself and also with your coach. Picture the points you played really well. It's good to have positive pictures in your head so that you can remember them in future matches. When you have assessed your match, it's important to help your mind relax. There are lots of different things you can do to help your mind be calm, like trying some relaxation breathing exercises or meditation. Some people like to do yoga or read or listen to music and even watching your favorite TV show helps with relaxation. And one of the most important things of all is sleep. We would recommend that you turn off your phone or put it away at least 30 minutes before you want to sleep as your phone can stimulate your mind and affect your sleep badly. Being professional is all about doing the right things, both before and after the match. Take care of your body. Um, make sure you do all the right things before and after matches. Um, and then hopefully you don't end up with two years missing out tennis like me.